Hey, sister friends, it's Terry from Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush. We are going to be talking about cruciform design element. And most of us, when we think of that, think of the cross. Christianity, Jesus Christ, this is, this is the cruciform style in its plainest, right? I did this when it's still a little bit wet. Uh, in about three minutes time this morning, just to make sure and have it here for this talk. I did these last night in preparation for this, and this is also called the cruciform design element. This is in abstract form, which is so much fun. It's so freeing, I'm telling you. I used the same colors on this as I did on these, as I'm going to in the ones that I'm gonna do in just a second, but I'm gonna try something else too. And uh, I came back this morning and I put a little bit of Golden Rule, the little gilding wax on this one, and I put the uh, Pennies from Heaven liquid patina on the outside of this one, and I actually like that a lot with a little bit of shimmer in there. But if you look at this, the whole point of the cruciform element is that it forms the shape of, of a cross, but the cross doesn't have to be literally like this one with even sides and longer bottoms and tops and all that stuff. This one, it went this way. This is still the cruciform element. Same thing here. Starts at the top, goes down and across, and the basic elements of that are gonna be empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space. So that's, that's the main thing. So you can come out a little bit into those and all those kind of things, but we're just gonna hop right to it. So this is what we're gonna be working on, but I'm gonna try something else that may or may not work here at the same time. I'm using the same exact colors. I wet these down earlier, but I've had them out a minute. I'm gonna mist them here. I thinned them out because of this, the abstract style I'm gonna be trying to do. And the colors I have here, this is DIY paint, are Farm Fresh, um, Tarnished Pearl, Cherry Picked, Weathered Wood, Bohemian Blue, Queen Bee, and then still over here I have Faded Burlap, which is what I used around the edges of both of these, but then I went and put the copper over that one. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that on these or exactly if we'll have time and all that and just a wad of plain old brushes. I got a round and two flats. That looks like a, oh, a half inch and a one inch, or maybe a three quarter inch and one inch and a big old round. And all of that absolutely doesn't matter either. <clears throat> when we talk about design elements, most of us know about the rule of threes. Everything looks better when you do it in, in threes. So, or odd numbers, I guess would be. So you maybe would want three red flowers over here or seven flowers total or five flowers and but that's kind of called the rule of three and staying with the odds and then there's the golden ratio that you don't want everything this is not as interesting as it could have been had it been moved over a little bit and down a little bit and out of the center so this is what automatically comes to mind when we think cruciform and we're thinking a big old cross but visually art wise it would have looked better had it been down a little and over a little instead of centered. So that's sort of like the, the golden ratio. But I'm just gonna grab my paint up here. I hope y'all can see real good. One thing I did with the colors is get a couple of dark colors, a few of the medium colors, and a lighter color. And that's why I went lighter with the uh, other color is to give it some of that interest too. So let's go darker to lighter here. So just try to free yourself up. Woo girl! Like that? You don't gotta say woo girl, but it feels good if you do. And put that, get your sort of, let's get our main shape in there. And I got a, a different idea over here, so I'm gonna try something different. We'll see how that happens. And this one I'm making sort of like a flower arrangement. But it still has all of the elements, so 
We'll see how we like that. I'm gonna go with the next darkest color just for the hay of it, and that's the Bohemian Blue. And you don't have to put all of the colors all over the whole dang thing. And you can come out a little bit here and there if you want to and do stuff. Um, the blue, let me get a little bit over here. I'm using lots and lots of water to make this easy on myself. I know, let's make my base mostly blue here. And Next lighter or of those, I'm gonna go with the cherry pick, sort of the purple. Then I think we're going to go to the Queen Bee and do it over here first. Definitely more in our flower area. It could be little filler flowers and things like that on this too. To come down beside our base. I'm rinsing and rinsing between every time because if not with all this water, I'd be muddying up my color so much more in the center on this one. Yeah, I love you, baby. No matter right or wrong, I was caught by surprise. So you could do the same thing with these light colors and dark colors, thinking about where's your light source coming from, where's your sun at, that kind of thing, and use the lighter of your colors. I picked out seven colors, um, nine if you count the gold and the, and the copper and we can use some more than once. And we can use them in different ways. I'm gonna kinda of just drip it this time and it doesn't matter if it goes out of my cross a little bit because even though this does not look anything like a cross, it's still a cruciform design element. It'd be better if I had a toothbrush right here right now to knock this off. At this point, with the paint this wet, we could, and I don't have it here with me to do it, but we'll do it again if y'all want to, um, come in with the blow dryer and do this almost like a pour. We started out with this cruciform design element, and if we blow dried it in every direction, it's still going to be coming off of the shape of the cruciform element. It's still, it's still going to have that design element. And the reason for that design element is to make it more pleasing to the eye as a piece of art. It, it doesn't have to look like a cross at the end. Did I use all the colors? I think I did. I want a little bit more dark in here, so I'm gonna go right back into the Bohemian Blue. Point, I'm almost done, so I'm not caring that I'm contaminating my paint a little bit up there. So I'm just trying to get a little bit more color in here. And anything you don't like after you put it on there, you just come back over it and you let it dry and you come back over it. Not a big deal at all. And just a little bit more of that farm fresh in there, and then I'm feel like it needs something else and I don't know what. I'm going to go back into the Bohemian Blue but I'm wanting to just deepen it up a little bit. So brave and so stupid just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with So even though I just put squigglies in every direction there this is still crucible. So what I'm going to do real quick is choose a color to do the background so that this will pop out a little bit more. I'm trying to see if what I have the most of that could come around the edge and look good. I'm going to try to get enough for this one of the Farm Fresh and 
If, say, you didn't like that part right there, you just cover it up. That's, that's the beauty of paint. You don't like it, you cover it up. Paint it again and again and again. So when I did those uh, ones last night in preparation for today, I got a definite eye roll out of my husband. I don't think that he gets the abstract art very much. And I have to admit, I don't always get the abstract art very much either. But when you look at it, you can, it, it makes you stop and look and ponder and think and try to find something in there that's recognizable, something that, that you understand. And then it's okay if you never do, if, if you don't. But we do usually stop and think, what were they thinking? But what we don't realize is that there's a design element in play in there. They're using lines either vertical or horizontal. They're using a design element like the cruciform, even though you may not recognize it. We see a lot, 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 or I see a lot of huge pieces of art that look like this on motel walls. And it looks like, my God, they just put a line through the middle of the thing. What's so special about that? They probably sold that for, you know, $100,000 or something ridiculous. And it has a design element. It, there, even though it looks like, you know, they're standing back and throwing paint at it, the, they're throwing paint in a, in a direction and with an idea in mind most of the time. And some people may just go at it and just do whatever, but most of the time, if they're an artist, they have some type of design element in mind and we can this, uh, after this other one dries, that's supposed to be the flower arrangement, it doesn't have to stay abstract. After that dries, if I decide to go on with um, something else and make the flowers a little more distinct, it still has that same design element. It doesn't have to be abstract. I mean, this, this design element is not just for abstract paintings. That was just the easiest way for me to show it to you in 20 minutes or less. Show and tell, share. Sharing makes it a lot more fun. I'm just doing a little bit of a crosshatch here and there to give some type of shape to this. And I'll probably, let's see if we can drizzle it on right now. Drizzle just a tad. Let me shake it of this copper right through the middle of that. So here we go. I like the copper on there. This will dry with DIY paint because it's clay based. It's going to dry lighter and kind of matte chalky looking and I will put a top coat on it and it'll bring it back to these vivid colors. I'm gonna try to hurry up and put a background on it. But can you see to where abstractly, it's got a vase and three flowers and some filler flowers in there, but technically it's still cruciform element. So even if this was a beautiful flower arrangement that had nothing to do with abstract, as long as it went up and to both sides, it would have that cruciform element. Liquid sunshine, because this is so thin and still on there, have to be a little bit careful about how I'm tilting it, but when it does something that I didn't plan on its own and surprises me, that's even more fun. You could use this to paint some uh, Christmas ornaments or something else small like this where you could finish a bunch of them in a small amount of time too. And if you do, please send me a picture. I would love to see. What I'm doing here is warming up and I'm practicing and I'm having a good time and I'm, you know, learning a little more about another design element. But what I'm really doing is painting something that's not in my head that I'm trying to duplicate like a photograph. You know what I mean? That's that's a lot of pressure and sometimes takes the fun out of things whenever you feel like you've got to make them look more 
realistic. Realism isn't my thing. It was my mama's thing. She was great at it, but um, it's not my thing. Too much pressure and I don't enjoy it, so I don't want to do it if I got to make it look like somebody else will understand. It's going to look like a photograph, in my opinion. Just go get a photograph and save yourself a couple of hours. <laughs> I actually decently like the shape on this but say if it really really bothered me and I that this was crooked down here and I wanted my vase to look more like a vase that's power of paint there now it looks like a vase so there we go and the same thing if I wanted a little more distinction between the flowers here up a little bit of that blue but what I'm going to do is just deepen it over here and this will be our shadow side. That's all I know about the cruciform design element except for I'm going to practice it a whole lot more. I'm having a good time. I hope that you'll try it too and I hope that you have a good time and I hope you come tell me about it and please share this video with your friends. That really really helps my business to grow and the more that it grows the more I can justify spending a whole lot of money on craft supplies <laughs> bye y'all thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next Tuesday bye